Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I'm really excited for today because since I got my iPad, I haven't customized it yet. So today I'm gonna be uh, showing you all the things how you can customize your iPad. I really hope you like this video and if you do, subscribe and like and share this with your friends. And if you want more content like this, just comment down below. Okay, so this is what my home or my lock screen and my home screen look like right, right now. They're really cluttered and there's not really like any organization. There's no customization. So I think what I want to do first is my background. So I went on Pinterest and I looked up some aesthetic wallpapers for the iPad and I found a couple that I saved to my photos already and Basically, how you save a photo from Pinterest if you're using Pinterest is you press on the photo that you like, you press those little three dots right there, and then you press download image, and the image is downloaded to your photos. So I saved some to my photos, and uh, this one I just saved, and then I saved this heart, which is super cute, this one, which is like like just simple neutral. This one has is really blurry, so I don't want to use that for my background because when it blows up the picture for the landscape, it's going to show like blurry. I like this one. Uh, I'm not sure how it will turn out landscape uh, side, but you know, we can try that out. So now i'm going to go back to settings and let's see wallpaper choose a wallpaper all photos and okay so now we have these photos um so i'm going to choose this one and see it just doesn't work landscape let's see portrait view okay so that's definitely not gonna work um let's try another one let's try this one this one is pretty cute so let's see go to settings again choose that wallpaper that one's nice let's see portrait okay that's a little blurry so i'm going to go off the video right now and try to find some better photos that won't be blurry okay so uh i found some wallpapers that i like um so i like this one a lot because it's like a nice gradient and it's like laid back so i'm going to set that as my lock screen and then i'm gonna set this because it's more like mellow as my home screen so let's see how that looks oh okay i like that yeah um okay now uh also what you can do for your wallpaper you can also um make or not wallpaper but your like display so like you could do dark themed or light themed so i i am gonna do dark themed and then let's see you can obviously move the brightness up and down then you can adjust the text size so how big the text is or if you want the text to be really small so i'm just gonna put that right in the middle and then let's see um this is the night shift so if you want your ipad to be more warm in the daytime and more cool themed in the dark so less warm more warm so that's what it looks like um so that's gonna be off so i finished customizing my uh home screen for the background so now let's see should we move on to widgets? Okay, so I'm gonna move on to widgets. So I'm just gonna delete all of the widgets right here because I don't like any of them. Except I do like that clock. I might keep that. Or I might like 
add it back again. Okay, so for widgets, um, I'm going to use these two apps. So MD Vinyl, which is basically like a vinyl app where you can play your music from like, you know, uh, Apple Music or Spotify. So I really like this Vibe one and the Radio one, although I can't do the premium like the spinning one because, you know, I don't want to pay for premium. And then Color Widget which is basically you can do anything on it. So time, uh, photos, forecasts, gradients, quotes, music, pastel, calendars, minimal, Christmas, weather, countdown, aesthetic, sunset and sunrise all in one, floral, app launcher, autumn, QR links, um, analog clock, reminders, hourly forecast, and more. So... I already made some at the top, as you can see. So I think I just want to play around with these. One, two, three. So I think I just want to play with, around with these five widgets to see what ones I like and what ones I won't add. So going to the home screen, uh, I'm just going to hold down. Let's see. So we can add widget. Let's see, where is that? Oh, here it is, color widget. And then let's add this one. Just add a bunch of them. And so one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so let's change this one, edit. Let's change it to widget two see what that one is okay so that one's the date and now i'm just going through and um putting all the widgets to their different like you know one through five so widget four and widget five okay so now i have them all and i'm not going to keep them all like really small i'm going to add different sizes so i think the biggest one should be oh i forgot to add the vinyl um let's see That one is like super cute. Okay, so I'm going to add this. No, not that one. I'm going to add, let's see, where is it? Um, this one. Okay, so I think the biggest one I want to make is the date. So Wednesday, obviously today is Wednesday, December 28th. So... I'm gonna make that one. Bigger. How do I make that bigger? So I redid the widgets and made them like they're good sizes. So now I'm going to uh, move them around. So I don't know where I want to put everything, but um, I mean, I guess we could put this like over here. Wait, let's move this. I guess we could put the quote on this side because, you know, it's good. So, mm, okay. And then, let's see, I want these. So the clock and the, the when the, the sun sets. Wait, what is happening? I don't even know what's happening right now. Okay. We need to do this. Okay, so that that's good. And then um, let's see. Let's move the date, or let's move the calendar somewhere over here. Okay, I don't, I don't know. Let's see. This is gonna take me like forever. Okay, so I finished customizing my iPad and um, so 
Also, I forgot to mention, but with Color Widget, you can also create these little icons for your apps. So if you want like a uh, aesthetic or whatever for your apps, then you can add that on. So let me give you an example because it's really hard to explain. So like these, they're icons that like match up. Well, and there's like solid colors, you know, and then nature so you can go with the aesthetic of your background or just the aesthetic that you're going for so i did not choose to do that but it will definitely step up your ipad um but yeah so this is how i customize my ipad okay so i'm just going to do a quick what's on my ipad so uh this is the home screen and it is you know just like pink and purple and like a gradient and then when you go into sorry that was the lock screen. When you go into the home screen, this is what it looks like. So I have my widgets like Wednesday, December 28th, the date, um, what I'm playing right now, December, like the calendar, when the sun sets, what time it is, and a quote for the day. Um, oh, I forgot to customize my sidebar. Okay. So let's just like do this. We're just gonna customize this really quickly. So that's just my sidebar. Okay, so when you open the iPad to the home screen, I have App Store, Photo Booth, Camera, Netflix, HBO. Oh, wait, I should move, I should move Disney Plus next to HBO. Okay, so Netflix, HBO, Disney Plus, Settings, Pizza, Subway Surf, which are the two um, gaming apps that I have, and then Pinterest, Weather, YouTube, and iMovie. Then when you go on to the next one, News, Dictionary, Books, Pages, Home, Tips, Find My, Numbers, FaceTime, Maps, Keynote, Files, App Store, Clips, Podcast, MD Vinyl, Shortcuts, iTunes, Store Reminders, Color Widget, col uh, Clock, Contacts, Stocks, Voice Memos, Measure, Translate, and Magnifier. So yeah, that's what I have. And then there's like all the app library. So yes, thank you so much for watching this uh, What's on My iPad, Customizing My iPad with me. And um, I hope you like it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you like. And I'll be doing more of these if you really like these. And um, so yeah, if you have like a video suggestion, just comment down below.